European Medicine Agency, and then the FDA. Neither one of them have an approved treatment for mercury toxicity. The compounds that people use today, DMPS, DMSA, EDTA, they have failings. Because the chelators are all toxic in a way, people are made more sick by taking chelation when they're metal toxic if you don't do it right. The problem is all the chelators do not penetrate the cells, and goodness, that's, that's where the mercury goes to cause its toxic effect. You're taking a drug that doesn't get inside cells to treat that? That's uh, silly. That's not, that's not logical. And the one we made, the nice thing about it, it penetrates the blood-brain barrier, gets into the brain, penetrates the cell membranes, it penetrates into the mitochondria, and it binds mercury in the body and renders it non-toxic. Well, that's a logical approach to solving a biomedical problem. Go where the toxin is setting. We now have our compound designated as an orphan drug to treat mercury toxicity in both the USA and uh, in Europe. An orphan drug is one that isn't worth uh, the pharmaceutical companies working on because there's not enough value there. And right now, the obstacle I have is getting it approved through the regulatory sources as a drug that can be uh, given to people. I've been talking about mercury years before I ever thought about making a chelator. 